Classification is a way of grouping things together that have similar characteristics. In order to classify animals, you need to be able to compare and contrast different animals and place them into groups based on their features. For example, you can place animals that are covered with hair or fur into a special group. Animals can be grouped into two main classes, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone and invertebrates are animals that don't have a backbone. In this video, we will be talking about invertebrates. Invertebrates represent 95% of all animals on Earth. There are four groups that we will be looking at in this video. Peripherans are known as sea sponges. These animals have a unique feeding system. They don't have a mouth, but they have tiny pores in their outer walls through which they draw water. They have specialized cells that filter food from the water as the water is pumped through the body. The water moves in one direction and it is driven by beating flagella. Flagella line the interior walls of sponges. Here is what the inside of a sponge looks like. The hair-like structures are the flagella. The darkened circles are the cell's nucleus. Nadarians are found in both freshwater and marine environments. This group involves the jellyfish, hydras, men of war, sea anemones, sea pens, sea whips, and sea fans. Nadarians have tiny stinging capsules, which means that if you get too close, they may sting you. Their bodies are radially symmetrical, which means that similar parts are arranged around a central axis. If you think of the jellyfish, it has tentacles hanging downwards from a bell-like structure. A nadarian's body has two cell layers rather than three like higher animals such as humans. They have a sac-like cilentron with one opening. A cilentron is similar to a mouth in humans, but it also doubles as the anus. Nadarians have two body forms, a polyp and a medusa. The jellyfish has the body of a medusa. At the center of the jellyfish's body is a tube-like manubrium. It is surrounded by the tentacles and it connects the mouth to the cilentron inside the bell-like structure. Medusas swim by weak jet-like propulsion and are carried by ocean currents over long distances. The mouth and tentacles of polyps face upwards. They have a cylindrical body which is attached to a firm substratum. The substratum is a foundation that the polyps will attach themselves to. Polyps usually stay in one spot. Nadarians are carnivorous and use the toxin in their tentacles to capture prey. They don't go chasing after it but rely on it coming into contact with their tentacles. Echinoderms have a hard spiny covering or skin. They include the sea stars, which are sometimes called starfish, sea cucumbers, sand dollars, sea daisies, and sea urchins. Many people refer to sea stars as starfish, but this causes some confusion because a starfish is not a fish. Some species of sea stars have the ability to regenerate lost arms and some can regrow a complete new disc from a single arm. In Barbados, we refer to sea urchins as sea egg and it's a delicacy. So much so that the government regulates its harvesting. Echinoderms have radial symmetry. Some have five or multiples of five arms. Their outer shell is made of calcium carbonate and it's covered by skin. In the sea star, the mouth is on the underside and the anus is on the top. A sea star can feed on prey larger than their mouths by pushing their stomach outside of the body and inserting it into its prey. The prey is digested externally. This group of animals do not have a brain, but they have nerves. They have simple eyes at the end of each arm 
and can only detect light or dark. Their two feet are sensitive to chemicals and may assist them when looking for food. These animals don't have a true heart and they also have a simple excretory system with no kidneys and use diffusion to move waste products from their bodies. Echinoderms have simple gills that allow them to get oxygen from the water. Mollusks are animals that have soft bodies which are sometimes protected by a shell made of calcium carbonate. They include snails, slugs, clams, mussels, scallops, oysters, cuttlefish, squid, and octopuses. The largest living invertebrate is a giant squid with a body length of 8 meters. With the tentacle arms extended, it may reach 22 meters. A snail is a shelled gastropod. Snails can live on land, sea, or even fresh water. Some species of land snails are edible. They are low in fat, high in water and proteins. However, snails can destroy crops. This causes farmers to use lots of pesticides which sometimes end up in our food. A slug is a snail that lacks a shell. Slugs can even be eaten if harvested correctly, but I would recommend you stay very far away from them. Slugs may contain a dangerous parasite known as rat lungworm, which is contracted when they eat feces of infected rodents. Clams can be found in both freshwater and marine water. They are made up of two shells. The word clam may refer to oysters, mussels, and scallops. Clams and mussels can produce pearls, but most pearls are produced by oysters. Pearls can be white, gray, red, blue, green, or even black. Pearls are produced when a foreign substance such as a grain of sand gets into the oyster and becomes stuck between the mantle and shell. It irritates the mantle and to protect itself, the oyster will try to cover the irritant with layers of nacre. Nacre is the substance used to create the oyster shell. Cuttlefish do not have an external shell but an internal one. They have W-shaped pupils, eight arms and two tentacles with denticulated suckers. These animals are experts at camouflage and are among the most intelligent invertebrates. They can change the color of their skin as well as the texture of their skin in an instant. An octopus has a soft round body which allows it to squeeze through very narrow spaces. Octopuses have bulging eyes, eight arms and a beak-like mouth. They are carnivores and eat animals such as crab, shrimp and lobsters. Octopuses have powerful suction cups that help them to capture prey. Its ability to fit into narrow spaces allows the octopus to search for food in small cracks or under rocks on the ocean floor. Like the cuttlefish, the octopus can release ink which darkens the water and aids in its escape from predators. Also, the octopus can change the color and texture of its skin which makes it very good at camouflage. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and to see more videos on science, hit subscribe.